Hey, what's up guys? This is Vimal here and welcome back to TRHD. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a few easy steps to use a multimeter. There are two kinds of multimeters available. One is analog multimeter, which I'm showing to you currently, and the other is a digital multimeter. This is a digital multimeter. You can use any one of the multimeters. You can go either with the analog one or the digital one according to your convenience. Both have their own advantages and disadvantages. When you buy a multimeter, make sure that it can measure the voltages and currents in both DC and AC and also measure resistance and if possible capacitance also. A multimeter has a range selector switch with which you can change to different ranges and measure the units according to your requirements. Now I'll show you what you can measure using this multimeter. This is the DC voltage range and this is the AC voltage range. Using this range you can, um, you can measure the DC amperes of a device and this is the AC ampere rating of a device. This is the ohm meter range, you can measure the resistance of any resistor. You even have a buzzer mode with which you can check the continuity of a circuit. In some multimeters there are some additional features like HFE measurement of a transistor and even frequency measurements. The same functions are also available on this analog meter. Every multimeter comes with a pair of probes which is used for measurement. The black one always goes into the COM or the common terminal and the red one goes into the remaining three terminals based on your measurement. Using this multimeter, I'll show you how to measure the voltage, current and the resistance. Now I'll show you how to measure the DC voltage. Now I'm connecting the probes to the multimeter. The black one goes to the COM terminal and since I'm measuring the voltage, the red one goes in the voltage terminal. Now I'm going to measure the voltage of this 9 volt battery. Change the range to the appropriate range. Since you're measuring a 9 volt battery, Change the range to 20 volts. You can see it's indicating 9 volts. The same functions can also be performed using an analog meter. I'll show you the DC voltage of this NIMH battery. It's showing approximately 1.2 volts. Now I'll show you how to measure the AC voltage and make sure that you check the position of the selector switch before checking a new voltage. And the voltage is 235 volts. Be careful while working on AC mains because working on high voltages is sometimes dangerous. Now I'll show you how to measure the DC current. I'll be using this LED strip as a load. Notice that I've changed the probe position from the voltage terminal to the milliampere terminal. Now I'm connecting these probes to the battery in series with the load. You can see the meter is indicating a current rating of 23.7 milliamperes of current. Now I'll show you how to measure the resistance using this multimeter. This is a 1K resistor. Let's check this value in this meter. You can see it's approximately 0.99K, that's nearly 1K. This is a 47K resistor, let's check its value too. Yeah, 46K. You can even measure the HFE of a transistor. I'll show you how to measure the HFE of this transistor. Place the transistor in this slot. 
This is a PNP transistor, so I'm placing it in the PNP slot. You can measure the HFE is around 199. Some standalone meters like this capacitance meter gives more accurate result. Now I'll measure this 10 microfarads capacitor using this meter. It's showing it as 9.4 microfarads, which is almost 10 microfarads. So this is how an analog or a digital multimeters can be used to measure different electrical units. Thanks guys for watching my video. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe and stay tuned to my channel for more new awesome videos.